He's a bitter man. <laughs> Well, good morning everyone. This is Johnny Shorty Wally Soro here, broadcasting on Black Country Radio. I'm here with my good pal, Paul Jennings. Hello. And we're here in Briley Hill, Delft Road, at the world famous, award winning... Batham's Brewery! Batham's Brewery! <laughs> and I'm joined by the lovely Claire and Alice Batham and Tom, the landlord. Oh yeah. And thank you so much for welcoming us your wonderful establishment. Thank you for coming, yeah. Sounds yeah, great. And I don't know about you, Paul, but whenever I walk into a Bagans pub, I know I'm in a pub. Yes, ab- absolutely. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that in a bit, but you do, there's a there's a homely feel to it. I mean, this is the brewery tap, isn't it? You know, and you expect the brewery tap to be, you know, pristine and all that sort of stuff. But I've got to say, all the Bagan pubs I go in, I still get that sort of warm feeling. And there's almost like... A corporate feel about it without it being samey, do you know what I mean? It's brilliant that the still pubs like this, because I'm not going to mention the W word, but pubs have changed such a lot the last 20, 30 years. And when I go to a pub, I want to go to a pub, you know, a proper boozer, not a, a jumped up restaurant. Yep, that's exactly that how we feel, yeah. This is how we want them to stay, hopefully, as well. So, <laughs> yep. Without the, um, the Vine pub, but it's also known as the bull and bladder. Yes. Now, is there a story behind that? Yes, there is a story. Before it was a brewery and a pub, uh, it was a butcher's shop. Okay. And the butchers used to slaughter on site. And to prove that the meat was fresh, the bull's heads were put in the shop window. And the bladders were given to the kids to play with as footballs. So it was known <laughs> as the bull and bladder. <laughs> wow. Well, it's a great name, isn't it? Yeah. This was, yeah. a, this was actually the shop, wasn't it? This was the shop, yeah. Where we're sitting now? This yeah. was the shop, yeah. So this is like like the front bar, I suppose, right next to the main road. That makes a lot of sense, because this would be the, like the shop mm. shop frontage. And, uh, uh, so this has that. been knocked through, hasn't it? Yeah, this, is, this was knocked through, and then... Uh, just that's describing, where, there's two rooms. Sorry, I interrupted uh, you. Was, that's where the logo comes from, obviously, the, the bull. The bull's head, yeah. bull's head. Amazing. Yeah. So, Baden's beer, where did it all begin? Our great-great-grandmother, Charlotte, used to have a lodgings in Netherton, and she started brewing beer for her lodgers. Her son, Daniel, and his then wife, Myra... Is that Daniel Senior? Daniel Senior, yeah. So this one here, I think. They set it up as a business then and started selling selling it as... Uh, as And what was the original pub in Cradley Heath? I believe it was the White Horse in Cradley where mm. Charlotte was brewing. And oh, okay. That was sort of quite traditional at the time to have sort of an ale white who would yes. brew at home because it was obviously a lot safer to drink beer then <laughs> in the water. That, um, yes. So yeah, it just kind of grew from that. And uh, uh, when, when did you move to Delft Road, Brownie Hill? It was turn of the century, so about 1905. We wow. believe that okay. we moved to this site. Yes. We're still brewing up now. May I ask about the brewing process? Don't give me any way any <laughs> secrets. We don't expect that. No, no, that's hidden under lock and key. Yes, that of is. course, of course, and so it should be. Yeah. But how long? How long does it take? Right, so we normally get mashed in about half seven, and then the whole brewing process is normally done by about half two in the afternoon. Wow. Okay. When you say mashed in, sorry to interrupt, what, what, what describe that? What is that? Then? So that is mixing the grain, which is malt, with the water, and that's what creates the wort, which is what the yeast then ferments into beer. Fermentation yeah. is normally about a week from the brew day. Okay. And then your water, uh, is that mains water or have you got your own supply? No, so it is seven trent supplied, um, but we use a special mixture of salts that we add into the water to change the chemistry of of it. And do do you still use 54 gallon hogshead casks? We do, yeah. Me me and Claire were racking them the other day. And you've got them here, Tom, haven't you? Yeah. Because you're you're one of the few places that still use those, aren't you? Absolutely huge, yeah. Wow. Okay, and how many how many Bavens beer do you produce? Right, so all year round we brew the bitter and the mild, yes. and then at Christmas time we brew the triple X, which is the strong ale. Yes. So it's quite a small range, obviously, just two beers. Well, that that that, that that's perfect. And uh, for for ale lovers, the original gravity, of course, of the bitter is four point three. Yeah, I believe. 
the mild 3.5 and the triple x 6.3 yeah so that's the abv yeah, of the of the different beers well i, I sample <laughs> all of them i mean i love the bitter and occasionally I like, I like a walk on the mild side. Oh. And that's, <laughs> and that, that's a nice, that is a nice drink. And very few places do mild these days. And the triple X is a nice pint, but a bit too strong for me. Yeah. <laughs> it blows your socks off, that does. I've actually seen him do stand up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he still talks to me. <laughs> Yeah, we've got the triple X out in the pubs at the moment, which is going well. We normally get it set up ready for the Dudley Winter Ales Festival, which was oh, last yes. week. Yeah. So put it on at the, at the same sort of time that that, that gets set up. So um, it, it is a nice point, but it, <laughs> you know you've had one. <laughs> and how many Baden's pubs are there at the moment? There are 12 pubs at the moment, so 11 managed and one tenanted, which is the Swan in Chatsley Corbett. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I'll just read through a list and just correct me or stop me if any of these are wrong. So you've got the, the Britannia in Sedgley, you've got the Bird in Hand in Old Winsford, yep. Fox and Grapes Pensnet, Lamp Tub Tavern Dudley. Yep, Lamp Tavern Dudley. New, the New Inn in Wordsley, the yep. Plough Inn in Shenston, yep. Princess in Hagley. Yep. Oh, no. no, no not no, Princess no, and Hagley. No. King Arthur. The King Arthur. King Arthur. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did now, you put that in to throw us off? I did. <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. No. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's one of the few ones I haven't actually been to. Oh, so it's the, 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 the King Arthur. The King Arthur, like, yeah. In Hagley. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're all exchanging style, Bridge. Yes. The Swan Inn, Chattersley Court. Chattersley Court, yeah. yeah. And the Unicorn. Wollaston. In Wollaston, yeah. And of course, last but not least, the Vine, mm -hmm. aka the Bull and Bladder, yep. in Briley Hill. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Now, I, I know because I'm a, also a member on the Seven Valley Railway. So, one of the things I love about that as well is I can get a pint of Bathams yes. at the King and Castle at, in Kidderminster Station yes. and the Railwoman's Arms at Bridge North Station. Yes. Now, Bathams is such a well respected beer and well loved beer particularly on camera, the campaign for real ale people, but you don't get it very, very, especially outside of the black country, it's very, you can't get it. Is there a reason for that? Well, we believe that the beer is best when it's freshest, so for it to travel a long way is just not good for the quality of the beer, really. And here, here to that. Yeah. Absolutely. But I mean, it is well respected, because I mean, I've been sitting in this very pub many occasions, and there's people travelled from different parts of the country, because they love Bavens, and it's, it's like a pilgrimage. So they've come to sample that. And they, how many beers would, would, would do that? And you've won awards, haven't you? You've won awards of the ca camera campaign for Real Ale for their best bitter. Nineteen ninety one of yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you have won other awards. Yeah, well. yeah. And if you go onto the camera um, forums, yes. it's a very very well respected beer. And before and BC before COVID, you used to get <laughs> <laughs> you used to get camera tours coming to the to the the, the, the pubs. Yeah, so they've yeah, started yeah. again now. Oh, yeah. they have. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We've had a few over the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. Beer buses, we get people yes. in beer buses. Yeah, I'm just going to say, you used to have the beer buses, you? which was basically consisted of uh, teachers from Birmingham, yeah. basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes a great staff Christmas party. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did it for my 30th with a load of friends, which was good fun, isn't it? That was just before COVID. Just yeah, before COVID hit, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's good luck. It was good yes, fun, yeah. That's lucky. <laughs> well, speaking of COVID, I mean, how did you cope during those terrible 18 months? You know, we obviously just had to shut everything down. Yeah. We did manage to carry on brewing. It was quite difficult because it's the first time the brewery's ever been shut mm. in the whole yeah. time that we've been really? here. So during the World wow. Wars, they yeah, were, yeah. it never ceased. Wow. That. Yeah. Um, but we managed to, the main, the main problem is the yeast. We need to keep the yeast ticking over. Yeah. So we would brew the best bitter for bottling and then Holden's would come and collect it and okay. they helped us out quite a bit yeah, in the yeah, first yeah. stages of the pandemic getting yeah. it bottled for us. So. Well I mean luckily my local um, off licence in Wollaston they had the bottles of Avon's so I would regularly go there yeah. to buy boxes of 12 to keep me going through the dark hours. Yeah. Intravenous. It was, yeah. <laughs> That's it was quite kidding. amazing how many uh, bottles we were selling, how, yeah. many, how many pallets, yeah, each week, pallets and pallets, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, doesn't that tell you that it, it coming out to a pub is a lot preferable 
to drinking at home, but doesn't that tell you something about the quality of your product? Mm. That people still missed it. At the end of the day, if your beer's no good, mm. folks aren't going to come. Yeah. You know? And, but despite all that, people still kept got coming to you. Instead of going to the supermarket, mm -hmm. they'd make the effort to come and actually buy mm -hmm. Batham's. And Tom was doing takeaways. Yeah. A couple of weeks run up to Christmas last year, we were doing almost a week's, half a week's trade um, just from the um, fire exit selling bottles. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Just, that is good. Just me sat in the doorstep yeah. with, uh, with <laughs> crates of beer and um, contain, five pint containers. So we did almost a week's tra half a week's trade mm -hmm. with no staff, no overheads, just just beer. Love country, extra.